Welcome back to their daily Marvel Staff video here on YouTube, coming at you with an updated take on an old favorite that is Atuma Control. Atuma, for those not familiar, offers a 10 power stat line for just four energy, but has the downside of attempting to blow up at the end of your turn if he's not alone at a location. I say attempt to blow up because this deck has a couple of cards that can prevent that from happening. We have Armor, obviously, who not only saves our Atuma, but is also a powerful tech card into the destroy decks that are running around everywhere, as well as Professor X, who's a very eloquent turn five to follow up a turn for Atuma. These two cards giving you 13 stats in a single path that's completely locked down with nobody getting in and out other than, of course, a baby land shark. If you're able to set up a Professor X or an armor path with a bunch of power in it, we can then slam one of our big six energy plays on the final turn of the game, such as the Destroyer or Orca into another path to overcome what our opponent is doing. I think this deck is in a pretty reasonable spot right now. I think Spider-Ham is pretty good into the control decks that are looking to play powerful five and six drops, such as Spider-Man and their own Professor X. And us having a copy of Daredevil, I think gives us a solid leg up in the matchups where our opponent is trying to lock us out turn five, who we can sniff out exactly what is going on and react to it in an appropriate manner. I mentioned the destroy decks earlier that armor is excellent into. We've got Cosmo to help against those as well. And Cosmo, in addition to armor, doubles up as a card that combos with our destroyer we can play destroyer into that combo pass suppressing this honor reveal giving us 18 stats a pretty common win that this deck will set up is you cosmo one path on three you atuma professor x another to win that one on turns four five and then turn six you slam destroyer in behind cosmo and win that path with 18 points worth of stats at any rate i hope you enjoyed the game highlights that i have for you here today it's a really fun conquest set against a bounce deck where you get to see all the axes of this deck come into play. If you do enjoy what you see, snap that like button. Hopefully we'll see you back again real soon for some more excellent snap content here on YouTube. Okay, so this is Bastard. This is Bastard. This is it. So this will be five, six. Nah, I think I think we just do this and wave them. And we're just winning all three, and they only get to make a single play. Victory. Daredevil is nice with waves. It lets us know if the opponent hard plays to the board on turn five. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good show. Oh! Hit Monkey is more likely to get porked. Is, uh, is an interesting thought. So I get to Cosmo the middle, and then I could Jeff into the Sancta. We have Wave lined up here, too. Definitely looking good for the home team.
God, um. We are, we are really bullying them around here to start. That being said, we are only picking up two cubes wins with these wins, so. You gotta be careful in the games where we could be playing for bigger swings if they're in a powerful position. Pig. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh no. So, anyways. Big pig. I already Snapchat, so. Lock up our two cubes here, call it a day. Big Addle Do. Tuba, and then we'll like armor mid into Jeff left. You play any Diablo 4 season one? I've not. I've been most of my off stream gimme time has been Hankai and Genshin lately. The Diablo, the Diablo season is like three months long and like Genshin has a big uh, update coming in August. So I wanted to catch up on the story quest I had to finish it for that. And then Star Rail released some new time limited stuff as well. We're gonna check out some of them this afternoon. Once, shame on you, fool me twice, etc., etc. They can only make one play and I'm winning all three, right? So we're good, uh, we're good to go. Victory. This deck list is not one that has high cube equity, meaning you don't win more than two to four cubes in a lot of your games. However, 
It's got a really solid game plan. You're gonna win a bunch of two and four cubers. I just snap wave in my opener, right? Breaking we're nine news. to we're nine to four. Although it's worth noting, Daily Bugle makes our ham a little bit worse. It to ya. Gonna give it to ya. It could have been right to play these mid. Was my was my pause there? This game, we're I think we're dead. Destroyer. I'm not even sure Destroyer does it as the thing though, because their their Angela is gonna kick them up to 14 in the middle, and then they're gonna have a Chavez, right? Plus whatever other stats they play out this turn. Yeah, I think my Bishop Professor X probably should have just been gambled middle. Yeah. Can I uh, confirm that Chavez exists in their deck, I suppose? You know, if cards will still drop down pools after the cash changes, yes, there will, there will still be downgrades. They are just not coming at a consistent two, three month cycle, etc. It's no longer, no longer predictable. You can also expect that worse cards will downgrade faster. So things like Snow Guard, Howard the Duck, etc. Those will hit lower tiers at faster rates. They've said they need to increase the size of series four and five to make their new system viable. And we don't know exactly what they're increasing it towards at the moment. So good for them. Mm. 
Try and ski him on the left. Successful, successful scam, thanks to uh, Jeff the Baby Land Shark here. a little bit braver I want to snap before the Professor X. Alright, we gotta win one of the next three. There's no more snapping. Five cubes to two high stakes rounds. Let's go. Yes, we are grinding them down. This is a deck that is like the king of grinding them down. We are, we are not a deck that uh, wins big, big swaths of cubes. I think when the game gets to the no more snapping part, it loses some of its charm. I think I disagree with that. I think the the amount that you play up until you get to that point is super relevant. And I think that by the time it gets to that point, it makes sense typically. I also, I also think that it's interesting from the perspective of, okay, we know the games are actually playing out now from this point in a way that's beneficial. Jeff was an excellent top deck. We had to go Jeff plus wave into Orca slash Destroyer next turn. There's the 1k tokens for duplicates going live in spotlight caches. Uh, they told us that will be happening at, uh, at the next patch. All right, so if they play Kitty plus Hood, their collector threatens to tie us in the middle, even with the Jeff. But they might not be thinking about Jeff, so might get a little bit of uh, a free roll here. We just put free willy over here, right? Call it a day. Hey, thanks for the two buttons, Epsi. Appreciate that. Welcome back. It's a solid set. Just won a bunch of two cube games. The bottle land event to get you was really well done. I am consistently blown away by the quality and volume of RPG content that the Genshin team puts out. They're very good at what they do. I don't, and there isn't a single card in their deck that gets them out of this, right? We know, we know all 12 cards here. That's all. Snap the like button if you'd be so kind and check back in again tomorrow for another highlight.